All right, this is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the Blue Moon Cruisers Fun Run, 2023 Fun Run. 396 Chevelle. Haven't seen one in a while. Corvette, look at that, wow. There you go, a little 289 Coupe. Reminiscing. That's so interesting is that that's half the fun of the uh, old cars is reminiscing about what you used to have and the memories that you've always wanted. So it's really pretty cool. Shoot, that's the end of the music. A little automatic. Nice. Nice little 58. That's cool. This is a nice contrast. I like this. Uh, this has, of course, the 58 was the only year with the push button in the center. Check out the speedometer. I like the interior. It's that wild, very 50s, very 50s. I'm going to show you some details. I always like that carrying through with the grill. And the boomerang taillights. Pretty cool. Now, check it out. The Volkswagen 58 was just about the same thing, same size, a whole bit. That is the glaring contrast and why Volkswagen really offers something alternative. Also, the fact that Volkswagen really enforced. Um, what they were doing when you got a Volkswagen dealership you had to have a certain amount of parts on the shelves nice little Ford work truck we like that International Harvester cool always nice to see these again you just don't see them around and when you do it's kind of a treat well yes this girl this is a 67 all right nice well, here comes the music, so I'm going to cut it right about here. Yep, as the music goes down, I had to pick up this nice GTO, 68. 69, okay. I like that wood trim, that's interesting. Automatic. Gotta check it out. We have to have our tiger tails in now. This one has a few. That's pretty cool. All the little extras in the trunk. And the way how we finish off the trunk with the spare tire. I like that. And of course, this is interesting is that the original Whoopie Pie. You just don't see that, folks. That is fantastic. Let's keep going. I love these big. Pontiac convertibles. Actually, I should say big GM convertibles. I'm not a big car fan. This, of course, is Granville, but what an interesting, interesting concept. Big six seater with acres of canvas. This might as well be a, uh, what do I call it? A uh, four door. Convertible sedan is so huge. Interesting. Now, why didn't they keep the smaller cars as convertible? Interesting. But it is cool seeing them. This is what, 74, 75? Let's see. 74. Gotcha. And of course, nice 1940 Buick. Always with the overhead valve. Look way how that's done. That's a uh, 221 uh, wheelbase, four-door touring sedan, 248 cubic inch, 107 horsepower. Rock and roll. Nice little Econoline over here, 65, 66. We per in 73, we purchased the 66 Econoline from U-Haul to convert it into a camper van. Uh, we got married and began our trip around the United States in this van. Over the 12 years, we covered over 100,000 miles and we had our son Mark and added a bed for him 
we added the golden uh, retriever to our camping family. We retired the van in 85 when they bought a small motor home. This is, oh look at this. Camping 1970s. Mount Rushmore Glacial, Wyoming, Mesa Verde. Oh gosh, Yosemite Grand Tetons, Yellowstone, Colorado, Tombstone, Arizona. Wow. This is fantastic. It's all the paneling and stuff. Oh, great. What wonderful memories this can create. And it's so wonderful that they still have it. Oh, we got so here. I forget who the engine manufacturer is here. Uh, UFC machine shop. Very good. Cool. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Go ahead and get that lined up. Now that is a raffle. Right now we're going to turn it back over to the